Hey there, welcome to Bass and More Outdoors. I'm Justin. I'm Mikkel. So this is our date night. Yep. So Finally. what we love to do when we have date nights is we come out, we come down to one of our most favorite towns. It's not Idaho. <laughs> it's not Idaho. <laughs> um, but we come down here, we do some fishing, and then afterwards we're gonna go down and we're gonna do Snake River Grill and hot tubbing. And hot tubbing. Yeah. So there's a lot of hot springs where we're at down here. Um, and we love hot springs. We love that fill of those natural mineral oils on our skin, stuff like that. So nice. And then we've got our favorite place here, the Snake River Grill, that we're going to go to afterwards because they serve us. Sturgeon. And that's one of our Best favorite fish, fish to eat. in the world. So anyways, so we're going to get on this. She's got her GoPro on her chest here. Yep. Um, and I'll have my GoPro. I don't have my chest mount, so you guys will just be on the tripod watching me fish. We're not doing a challenge. We're just having fun as we show you what we like to do for our date. Don't forget everybody to like our channel and subscribe. Thanks guys. So normally I put a marshmallow on just right up here. I think that the color and the smell attract the fish, but I don't have a marshmallow. So I'm just gonna put some power bait, um, just some garlic trout power bait. Good stuff, usually works all by itself even, but I do like to add at least a little bit of a worm. I'm kind of like one of those natural people. I know that fish like the natural things. The wiggle of the worm attracts them. They're definitely used to seeing worms. So I like to add that. And I used to use a little worm threader till I learned how. And it actually gets a lot easier as you practice. And it's not really that gross. It's not that goopy or anything. So I thread it pretty much all the way up the hook till about right there. And then pull it up. So there's quite a bit threaded on. And of course I pulled my power bait off. So I'll try to stick that back on. Come on power bait. All right, and then the very last thing that I do is I dip it in this secret sauce that I have. So it's actually vitamin that you can buy if you really must know what this is. You can send us a message and I'll tell you at that point. I know, I saw fish jumping. It's dinner time. Okay, so let's see. I'm actually going to cast it out and then I'm gonna sink it because I have a lot of luck when I sink it. And I don't really need to go that far, but I usually pull my line out quite a bit till I know it's sunk. Um, it should kind of keep going a little bit, spinning a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. So it's definitely still going. And then once it's gone far enough, what I do is I flip that back, pull it tight, and then I wait. And usually if they're gonna bite, they bite like immediately. So I just kind of watch the end for a minute. And then a lot of what I do is I go with the feel. Cause I can actually feel when they start to nibble on the worm and the vibrations from it. Um, but I can definitely, I can definitely see when they start to bite as well. So it actually already feels like there's a fish nibbling. Kind of getting excited already. I'll need to, I loosen the drag a lot because when I do, I can feel it more and then they can kind of play with it a little bit, toy with it, but I'll tighten it up a little bit. Let's see. Wish me luck. So we're going to start out with just a Texas rig. Um, 
This is not the Guggen Squad Kraken Crawl. It's Thousand Fish, I believe it is. Yeah, it's the Thousand Fish. Um, I'm not sure what it's called anymore, but it's Thousand Fish. I know that. It's green pumpkin with a little purple on the underbelly. Last time I threw this out here, we caught four bass on it. So we're going to start with this again and see what we can get. Um, it is a little late in the afternoon. We only got about, I don't know, 45 minutes of sunlight left. So let's see what we can do here. <clears throat> now, last time I was fishing this spot, I'd cast this way just like I did now. And I'd start pulling, and then you feel a shelf drop. And right as that shelf would drop, that's where the bass were biting. Um, it was closer to the docks. I do have a breeze pushing me further away from the dock, so hopefully we'll still get some bites. Um, as I think because it was still warm enough outside, they were closer to the docks for the shade. Oh, honey, fish just jumped right in front of us. So they're jumping around, trout. Trout are jumping and biting. That's a good time for trout. It'd probably be a great time to throw a spinner right now. See if we can get something on a spinner. But <clears throat> So we've got Mikkel just on the next dock over to us right here. And she's just doing a worm that she's going to sink to the bottom. Nice cast. So far, nothing on my crack and crawl. Ow. Sorry. So far, nothing on my thousand fish. Now I have two techniques that I like to do when I'm Texas rig. One is the slow reel, like you guys see I'm doing now. Hopefully you can see me good on that camera from where it's sitting, but. And then the other one is, is I'll reel in my drag and then just slowly pull it. And I do find that when I do the slow pull, I get a lot more bite. Um, I'm guessing it's more of a natural slide than the reel is with a jerk, jerk, jerk. Um, so I'm betting as a bass are looking at it, fish are looking at it, it looks more natural sliding across the bottom than slowly reeling, but I like to do both. Um, now the nice thing is, is when you reel in the slack and slowly pull it, when they do start biting and you fill it, I feel it gives you an easier, better hook set um, if you're at the beginning of your pull. If you're back here, you're kind of already out of room for that hook set, but if you're doing the reel, and you're just slowly reeling right here, and all of a sudden you feel that bite, and now you've got more room for that hook set. <clears throat> but both seem to work. And I am more prepared for bass fishing tonight than I am for trout, mainly because, like I said last time I was here, I did get a bunch of bites and caught four. Um, but I figured being this late in the afternoon, sun starting to set, we're going to get more trout bite than we are bass today. So I could actually feel the vibrations on my pole of something nibbling down there. But I'm going to wait until they actually tug pretty hard till I pull it in. So if you can see the end of my line, end of my pole, it's bouncing quite a bit. So here in a second, they're going to get greedy and they're going to really start to pull. That's when they're going to swallow it and go for the whole entire fish or worm. Oh my gosh, I got one. I moved over to where Justin was because I wasn't having any luck. So yeah, I'm really glad I moved out over here because I knew the fish were hungry. It's definitely still dinner time. So here we go. Ah! He got away oh, last minute. Off. He looked big too. But let's see if we can make this work for us. Bring the camera in a little closer here. All right, everybody. So this concludes part one of date night of our fishing. We caught, well, she caught one trout. Almost. That we lost right at the edge of the dock. So Still counts. Some call that a catch others don't it looks big too <laughs> but some will say that a catch is fishes in your hands others will say a catch is you pulled it out of the water which he came out of the water before he came off so but either way neither here nor there so see you at part two hey everybody part two of our date night we are at miracle hot springs 
It's amazing. Yeah. Mineral water. So sorry if you got a lot of background noise and a lot of people talking. There are a few people here relaxing in the hot tubs just like we are. So, but anyways, we just wanted to show you part two. Miracle is really awesome. There's some nice yurts over here you can stay in, and there's also some rooms over here you can stay in. But there's But there's a total of four pools here. Um, you got a little one here that's a little cooler. You got the one we're in, which is the second warmest. You got a, one over here you can stand up in and play in. It's really nice. Um, it's the third warmest. And then you got one under this tunnel over here, um, which is the warmest one of all, the hottest one. Um, and then you got private rooms that you can get as well, too. All around. So, really nice place. This is really fun. So, we'll catch you guys here again in a little bit. We'll do some more video before we go. <laughs> so here we are. We've been sitting here about an hour. We're both at the point where you start to get hungry. Thinking so hungry. about that sturgeon. So much food. So we just thought we would say one more little bit before we get out and head to the restaurant. Um, just another thing about Miracle. It's just a great spot if you don't have kids. Um, if you do, you can see that there's a pool behind us with a bunch of kids swimming in it and having fun. Um, which, like I said, if we had our kids, that's the pool we'd be in, throwing a football and whatever else. But if you don't have the kids, this is the better spot of the hot springs down here in Hagerman. The so, relaxation area. Uh, yep. So, anyways, and this is Miracle. Um, and if we go during the day with the kids, we like to go to Thousand Springs because it has the uh, water slides, the diving boards, and the high dive. And the log. And the big they log. They love to walk across the log. It's good. Yep. So, anyways, so we're going to go ahead and sign off, and we'll catch you guys at the restaurant where we give you a glimpse of that wonderful sturgeon we're going to have. See you soon. Yeah. All right, bye. Hey, so here we are at the Snake River Grill. This is our favorite place to eat. Um, in fact, what, two weeks after I met you? It was your birthday? Yep. And her request was to come here for dinner. I have never been here before in my life. Now I know why she likes to come here. This is some of the best food ever. I'm telling you guys, if you ever get a chance to go through Hagerman, Idaho, you have to stop at the Snake River Girl. Everybody I've ever met loves this place. It's amazing. It doesn't matter what you get, mm -hmm. except for the alligator. Yeah, we don't like it, but we, you we, might. You might. Yeah, you might like the alligator, <laughs> but... It wasn't our thing. Um, no. Right now, we've got the salad bar going. Yep. Um, it comes with the meal that we get, which is the sturgeon. And she can see she's got her red wine. She loves her red wine. Um, and, you know, the funny thing is, is for the last two years, we've always done the steak and sturgeon combo, which is amazing. If you guys ever try it, trust me, you will not be disappointed. It's very good. But the main reason why we got it was for the sturgeon. It was just, what, a month ago? Mm -hmm. that she discovered that they have a plate of just sturgeon. And so now she gets the full order of sturgeon so that she has leftover sturgeon to take home. I so. can make steak at home, so I'm good on the steak. Yeah. And he makes the best steak I've ever had. Right. So um, sturgeon is like a fish that you can't keep. You can fish it and then you can't take it out of the water. Yeah. It's endangered. It's like a dinosaur fish if you ever have heard of sturgeon. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. So. And the reason why they can do sturgeon is because they actually get it off of sturgeon farms, not yeah. wild. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyways, so what we'll do is we'll come back in just a minute after we get our sturgeon so we can show you what it looks like. <laughs> I'm not editing that part out. Yes, you are. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We got our dinner. Um, this is the sturgeon, the full order of sturgeon. Um, and you can see my potatoes are a little small. And this is one of the reasons why we love coming here. Not because of the small potato, <laughs> but because when she brought the plate, the first thing she says is she goes, I am so sorry, that is the world's smallest potato I've ever seen. She goes, I'm going to take some money off of your tab for that potato. Yeah. And Kel here, what'd you do? I said, well, I'd take another glass of wine for free. That'd be great. So yeah. they gave us a glass <laughs> of wine to knock off for the price of Let's that potato. Let's just say <laughs> the service is amazing. It I've is. been it here... Is like a bunch of times like 20 times and never been unhappy and i am definitely very skeptical of service and um servers and stuff so yeah so They're just nice. one of our favorite places between the service and between the food i mean you cannot go wrong mm -hmm. you really can't so well all right so after this we're gonna head home we're gonna get what we call our cookies 
PJs, and sit down and just watch some Chuck. If you guys haven't watched Chuck before, watch man, it. you have to watch Chuck. Amazon Prime, it's yep. amazing. So, all right, well, we're gonna sign off, but if you guys like this, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the video. And again, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and have a great night. Bon appetit.